Last evening during our uh, prayer meeting, uh, I read a scripture from the beginning of Romans, and it was really a, a scripture that Paul was writing to his church. And the one thing that I said, and I want you to meditate on this this morning, this this story, this this passage could be read from me as your pastor to you as parishioners. And it could also be read as a uh, parishioner to parishioner or even just person to person as we go through uh, this unique situation. So here's a reading for this morning from Romans chapter 1 verses 8 through 17. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for all of you, because your faith is proclaimed throughout the world. For God, whom I serve with my spirit by announcing the gospel of his Son, is my witness that without ceasing I remember you always in my prayers, asking that by God's will I may somehow at last succeed in coming to you. For I am longing to see you so that I may share with you some spiritual gifts to strengthen you, or rather so that we may be mutually encouraged by each other's faith, both yours and mine. I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that I have often intended to come to you, but thus far have been prevented, in order that I may reap some harvest among you, as I have among the rest of the Gentiles. I am a debtor both to Greeks and to barbarians, both to the wise and to the foolish, hence my eagerness to proclaim the gospel to you always who are in Rome. For I am not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power of God for salvation to everyone who has faith to the Jew first and also the Greek. For in it the righteousness of God is revealed through faith, for faith as it is written, the one who is righteous will live by faith. Take a few moments and think about these words, and then comment below. Maybe comment and see how you have been an uplifting spirit to someone else or maybe how someone else has been an uplifting spirit to you. May this be our Thursday meditation.